Well, I want to first give credit to my grandfather and my father too, because the men in our family believed that the women and men should be equally educated, should be allowed to dream as much as they wanted. There will be no discrimination against men and women. Now, again, put it in context. This is in the late 50s and early 60s in India. And India has just come out of India, you know, British rule after 350 years of being ruled by the British. India is now an independent country. So this is, I'm born eight years after India was independent. So it's very, very early in the emergence of India. Society is conservative. My mother was brilliant, would have loved to have studied, but she wasn't given an opportunity because girls those days didn't go to college. They got married at 18 and were homemakers. So she lived vicar her life vicariously through her daughters. But she also had to conform to the social norms, which said the daughters had to get married at age 18. So she had this foot on the brake and the foot on the accelerator said, go off, dream big, do whatever you want. And my dad and my grandfather put their foot heavily on the accelerator and said, soar, not just dream big, soar. We'll, we'll provide the tailwinds for you. So this combination allowed us to have a little bit of a frame in our life. So we had discipline, we had rules, strict rules which is a good thing, Laila, which is a good thing. We had the support of family. We had that base. We had accountability, but we could also soar. We could dream big. And as long as we conformed within the frame, we could do what we wanted. And I think it's that combination, the brake and the accelerator that worked so well. And I would never ever fault my parents' foot on the brake, my mother's foot on the brake, it was the right thing to do because she had to survive in society too. And I love the fact that my mom, dad, and grandpa put a foot on the accelerator too because they believed in us. And I think today uh, in all families, uh, they should look at men and women the same. Everybody should be educated. Everybody should be allowed to store. Everybody should have responsibility for children and family creation, men and women alike. And I think, you know, what was hard earned in those days should be a fact of life today.